feeling. And welcome to another episode of Maths in an Empty Classroom with me, Mr Sutton. Uh, this video is by request, uh, it's going through a specific question on integration, finding the area between curves and lines. Uh, for those of you watching from Ringwood, it's question two of your core two scaffolding removed questions. Uh, for everyone else, off the top of my head, I think it's from the January 2015 core two international paper, but I might be wrong. Uh, but what I have on screen uh, is, uh, I haven't written up the whole question, but I've got everything on there that we need to proceed. Uh, we have curve, quadratic curve, uh, which I've drawn in black here, uh, which has equation y equals x squared minus 2x minus 15. Uh, and we have a straight line that I've drawn in blue that has equation y equals 2x minus 3. And we're being asked to find the region uh, contained between the line, the curve and the x-axis, uh, which I've shaded in here in red and called the region R. Um, and there's a lot to do here to find out the information that I need to solve this question. So we're just going to break it down, do it a step at a time uh, and um, lead us towards the, the final solution. Now, what I always get students to do when you're looking at area integration questions is if you've got a point of intersection between the line and the curve, to draw a vertical line from there down to the axis, because what that does is it gives you a clear idea of what we are trying to find. Uh, I'll just grab that in black, I don't know if that's clear enough. And what you should be able to see is by drawing that vertical line down, I've created a triangle, which if I shade this extra bit in here, in blue, you can see that I've created a triangle here. So to find the area of this region R, I need the area of this triangle and I need to subtract this bit that I've shaded in blue. So I know that ultimately what I'm going to be doing is the area of a triangle minus the integral between whatever number is here and whatever number is there. Now, there's a number of bits of information uh, that I'm going to need to find out um, to be able to do this, uh, and I'll do that one um, stage at a time. Uh, I'm going to need to know this point here, uh, which I'll call A, uh, I need to know this point here, which I'll call B, uh, and I need to know this point here, uh, which I'll call C. Now, first of all, finding this coordinate A, this is the point where the equation y equals 2x minus 3 meets the x-axis. So, how do we find an x-intercept? We make y equal 0. So if I make y equal 0, then 0 equals 2x minus 3, uh, which means that 3 would be equal to 2x, so x would be equal to 3 over 2. So what I can now do is I can label that coordinate on there as 3 over 2, uh, 0, to save me keeping it as A. Okay. So I found that point A because that's the beginning of my triangle, so I'm going to need that. I'm also going to need this point here, point B, uh, so I'll look to find that now. Now that is the root, the point of intersection, with the x-axis of the quadratic curve here. So y equals x squared minus 2x minus 15. Now how do you find the roots of a quadratic? Well, you make y equals 0. So x squared minus 2x minus 15 equals 0. Factorises to x minus 5 x plus 3, which means my two solutions, my two roots of that quadratic are x equals 5 and x equals negative 3. Now I've got two answers because there's two roots, 5 and negative 3. Well, this one is obviously 5, negative 3 is this one over here. I'm not going to worry about labelling that one over there because I don't need it to solve uh, my problem, uh, so I'm just going to label that as the point 5, 0, there. So I found two of the three points that I'm going to need to solve this question. The last one I need to find is this point here that I've labelled C, and you can see that that is the point of intersection between the quadratic curve and the straight line. So how do you find a point of intersection between two lines? Well, you solve simultaneously. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set the quadratic x squared minus 2x minus 15 
equal to the straight line 2x minus 3. That's a quadratic equation. What do they have to equal before we can solve them? They have to equal 0. So I'm going to subtract the 2x from both sides of the equation, giving me x squared minus 4x. And I'm going to add 3 to both sides of the equation, giving me negative 12 on the left-hand side equals 0. Factorise and solve x minus 6, x plus 2, which means my two solutions are x equals 6 and x equals negative 2. Now clearly the one that I want is 6. And let's just think about this question a minute. Am I happy with this answer? Does it make sense? Checking as I go. x equals 6 is this point here. That's further over to the right in the positive direction of 5. So it makes sense. Good. I'm happy with that. x equals 6. Where's x equals minus 2 come from? Well, it's the other point of intersection between the line and the curve down here. So I'm not worried about that one. Now, however, because the point C here is not on the axis, I know that x is 6. I need to find the y coordinate. I'm going to need both pieces of information uh, to solve this problem. So I use my value x equals 6 and I substitute it into one of the two equations. So I'm going to substitute it into y equals 2x minus 3, uh, which is going to give me 9, which means that the coordinate of this point here, c, is 6, 9. So now I've got all the coordinates that I need to find the area. Uh, so now I'm going to go through to the finding the area of the triangle, finding the integral. So we'll do the... triangle bit first. So this triangle here, I'm just going to do a quick sketch of it over here, it doesn't have to be neat, it goes from 3 over 2 on the x along to 6 because it's vertically below that point 6, 9. So the base of this triangle is the difference between 6 uh, and 3 over 2, uh, which is 9 over 2. So that's the base of the triangle. The height of the triangle is this line here, and the y coordinate is 9. So therefore the area of the triangle, if I do a half times base times the height, uh, that is going to give me 81 over 4 as the area of my triangle. So that's this bit here, 81 over 4. So the last thing I need to do is I need to find this blue shaded area here, which is the area between the curve and the x-axis between x equals 5 and x equals 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to integrate between limits of 6 and 5 the equation of the curve because it's the curve that I'm trying to find the area uh, beneath. So x squared minus 2x minus 15 uh, with respect to x. Uh, I'm going to integrate that one term at a time. So x squared goes to 1 third x cubed negative 2x is going to go to negative x squared and minus 15 is going to go to negative 15x and that is between 6 and 5. Substituting in 6 uh, I've had a third of 6 cubed uh, which is 72 uh, minus 6 squared which is 36 uh, minus 15 lots of 6 which is 90 uh, so that's going to be negative 54. Uh, and then I'm going to take away when you sub in 5. So that's going to be 125 over 3 minus 25 minus 75. So that's uh, negative 175 over 3, uh, which I'm taking away. So uh, negative 54, take away... Uh, or plus, I should say, 175 over 3 uh, is 13 over 3. Now, 13 over 3 is the uh, blue bit, this blue shaded area here. So if I go back to this, what I was originally trying to work out, I now know that the area of my triangle, uh, so I'll just do this bit here, I'll just box it off so it's clear that's what I'm doing. The region R is the triangle minus the integral. The area of the triangle we worked out to be 81 over 4. The integral we worked out to be 13 over 3 uh, and that comes out 
has the rather beautiful 191 over 12. So there we go. So we looked at all the information that we needed. We've looked at finding uh, the x-intercept of the line, the x-intercept of the curve. We looked at finding the point of intersection uh, between the line and the curve. And then we thought about what shape we had to find the area for and what we had to integrate um, and how we then had to combine those two things to get to the answer. But let's just think right back, what's the first thing we did that enabled us to access this question? We saw that point of intersection between the curve and the line. We drew the vertical line down and suddenly the picture becomes much clearer. You can see that triangle minus this little bit, which is the integral. Job done. Thanks very much for your company.